hello again and welcome to another episode of design with pam today we're going to be creating this animation i'm going to show you where i got the shapes from and i'm going to show you how to make this animation in figma and how to design basically what we have here this is more like a simple let's say a landing page or the first screen on a home page where you have your call to action button your hero images your hero tags and all of that you know so we're just going to create a simple design so let's get right into it first thing first just like we always do is to go and select our frame go to this toolbar select this drop down and select frame or you can simply hit f on your keyboard then you get these options of frame on this section here on this property section so i'm going to go to desktop and i'm going to choose desktop right let me drag it here so you see what i'm doing all right so the first thing we're going to do is to add our i our logo here okay so i actually created this logo in figma so if you would like to see a tutorial on how i created this logo please leave a comment in the comment section so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy my logo here so one fun thing about figma is that once you copy uh once you take uh something here let's say you copy and i want it to be on the same spot here all i have to do is to select the frame and then hit ctrl v it goes to that same spot where it was on the other frame so i'm going to do the same with this navigation menu i have another video where i showed how you how i created this navigation menu the spacing that i use and where i got all of this icon here i'm going to link the video in this description below all right so i've pasted it the next thing we're going to do is to type our shapes type our shapes and colors so the concept of this design is a company that sells shapes just like the shapes that you have here maybe um that designs it comes up with this and they sell it right they're actually very unique shapes so let's call so that's why we have it as shapes and colors so for shapes and colors i use if the font i'm using it just and i'm going to make it as much as a 64 and i'm going to go and make it let's leave it at bold i like this font this font has all the givens <laughs> but before we go ahead let's put on our grid lines like it helps us to so sort of put everything in place so i also have a tutorial where i showed you the grid lines that i use all right so i'm going to choose web design fashion okay so anyway let me show you the grid lines my own grid lines that i'm using so please copy it out and use the same if you want to all right so we have our shapes and colors here shapes and colors so i'm going to copy out the text that i put in here and i'm going to click on t on my keyboard i'm going to drag create a text box here and i'm going to paste my my text here all right so for these shapes and colors for me to get this um, nice spacing and for the font to be looking like this i actually worked on the let line height line height so i i made the line height to be 118 for this one i'm going to reduce it to the letter spacing i'm going to increase it reduce it to a minus two All right okay so same as this one the line height is 135 white letter spacing is seven so let's see if we reduce it a bit i think we'll leave it at seven so maybe we keep it like this right so i'm going to select this and select this and create an auto layout by hitting my shift a on my keyboard so the spacing once you have an auto layout it will show you the space once you hover your mouse around this to show you the spacing that you have between these two items which is also here so for this one i'm going to make the spacing to be a 28 i think 28 is great so i'm going to go ahead and cl click on t on my keyboard i want to create this call to action buttons here the first one is find shape find a shape first one is find a shape i'm going to turn it into create an auto layout rather so shift a again and now uh, there are two cut action buttons right so let's increase the horizontal padding here let's call it a 32 
or we can make it a 28 okay so for the vertical padding let's give it a 12 then i'm going to go ahead and create a fill add a fill let's give it a black you all know i don't use pure black right no let's give it this mm, let's give it this black here so this is the color that i use oh sorry it's going to change the color of my text okay, so that's what i selected so i'm going to give it this other black why are you giving me this okay so the opacity of this one is i'm going to increase it then i'm going to hold on to command or, or control i am going to select the text click on the text to select it and i'm going to change the color to white but i'm going to increase the width the font size here to be a bold so we're going to round the corners to an eight right then i'm going to duplicate this by holding option or alt button then i'm going to drag this out here then i'm going to select the both of them and i'm going to give it a spacing of a 16. now let's give it a spacing of 18. let's try 24. all right so as you already know we cannot have two field colors here one has to be uh there in the background so i'm going to take my fill i'm going to click on fill while i select the other frame here this call to action i'm going to click on the fill here and i'm going to select take the color picker and i'm going to take the colors that we have here this is the color that we have but i'm going to hold on to command and click on the text in it and then i'm going to change it to black i think we're good to make your call to action button a bit longer than that it's fine but this is okay too because we're using it the height here is a 52 but let's increase it a bit i'm going to come here and increase it to a 16 and i'm also going to increase this to a 32 right so i'm good the next thing is to type explore so you can type that i can get this icon from hero sections just right click and go to plugins and find the icon at hero section that is your assignment i always give assignments and paste it here so the spacing i have i'm going to select this frame here and i'm going to select the other call to action frame and i'm mm -hmm. going to create an auto layout so 62 let's give it a 94 right so i'm going to take this drag this a bit down and make it a 160. Uh, let's just give it a happy family of call to act so the next thing i'm going to do is to create this color here what i did was it was click on f on my keyboard and i drew a frame went to the fill color and i selected the color picker and i picked the first color here all right, so but I want to make sure that this frame side is actually half of the desktop that we're using. The desktop is 1440. I'm going to copy the number, click on this other frame that I just created, paste the number, and then divide it into two. And I'll come here and click on this align to the right. I'll make sure that this is vertically aligned too. So we're going to increase the size to be 102. And this is great. All right, so as you can see that the frame is covering our navigation here and our menu here what we're going to do is to find the nav menu and make sure it's on top of the frame from this layers panel here right which it is so the next thing i did is to line up all the shapes that i'm going to use and then create i created them into a group i just grouped them then i took this I chuck it into this other frame this frame here this frame that i this last frame i created so if it's not allowing you to manipulate it on the on the screen here just find it from this layers panel so there i'm sel i've selected this the group here the 
these shapes that I've grouped, look at it, group 55357, and I've, um, I've selected it from this panel here, and I'm going to chuck it into my frame. So all you have to do is to drag and drop. It's the website, Shape Fist. You can find it, um, you can go there and then download the, the shapes. You can download any other shapes. All right, so so the second stage now is let I'm going to change the color of this frame. I'm going to take it and I'll just use a color picker and choose this color. But since this is this second one here, uh, the next item I want to show when it's being prototyped is the red one, right? So I'm just moving it in. I'm making sure that this group here, the group of the shapes, is still inside this frame this frame now this frame that i created here this red one this yellow one everything must be inside the frame right so that's how you achieve this so so you're going to do it for all of it the black one the blue one the other black one and another blue one so once you're done you just go to prototype click on prototype and select the frame and then once you click on prototype let me disconnect this and show you it will bring out this plus sign here on each frame. Just drag this and make sure it's connected to the second frame. Click this drop down here and select after delay. Once you select after delay, make sure you set it to smart animate. All right. So it's not going to be on instant. It's going to be on smart animate and you're going to set it to ease out. So I left my at 80 millisecond and easing out is 300 millisecond, right? All right so that is what gave us this this flow that we have here all right thank you if you found this video helpful please share it so other people can benefit and you can also subscribe to my youtube channel this is me um and if you would like me to rate your work or give you feedback you can send me a dm on my instagram which is pamela the designer um, you can also follow me across all social media. All right, thank you and see you next tutorial.